posters have a pretty fascinating history, partly because they've actually influenced history. And I think our Dubai poster is a good place to start because just as new means of mass production allowed these skyscrapers to exist, it was new means of mass production color lithography, which allowed the whole poster art movement to exist. Before lithography, we'd had woodblock printing for over a thousand years. Now that was carving into wood, so very labor intensive. Hokusai in Japan is probably the recognized greatest master. Then Jules Charest perfected color lithography, ushering in the Belle Epoque, or beautiful era. And the streets of 1890s Paris were soon teeming with these dynamic, eye-catching designs. People just loved them. This was viral content, and it soon became a primary form of communication from Berlin, Milan, New York. Creatively, this was Art Nouveau, with its floral lines flowing with feminine energy, reflecting a bourgeois period of conspicuous consumption. Even if, creatively, it might feel a little busy, almost quaint to modernize. The father of modern poster design was Leonetto Capiello, whose insight was impact. From his very first poster, we see less text with simple, bold backgrounds and a strikingly clear message, maybe reflecting the turbulent political movements brewing at the time. They definitely offer a sumptuous hint at the artist he will become. Then we get World War I and governments step in all over the world with the greatest recruiting and propaganda campaign in history. Men marched to war, inspired partly by poster slogans. While some of these designs maybe took a step back creatively, others became iconic and posters were everywhere. From big cities to small towns, the poster was a cultural force. The post-war posters welcomed Art Deco as their dominant design influence. Maybe as a rebuke to the severity of the war years, Art Deco was glamorous and sophisticated. It promised a brave new world. And with its simple imagery and bold text, this period really defined the visual vocabulary we still recognize today. We can see it in the world fairs of the 1930s, in the government posters of the Second World War, from every country, even those who were suppressing artists. We see this style evolve in the 50s with softer color palettes, but we can find the influence of Leonetto Capiello and Art Deco in essentially every great poster since, from all the movies and movie posters that you love to advertising campaigns. Our posters pay homage to this vocabulary with our own recipe of ideas. For the text, we draw inspiration from both Art Deco and also Bauhaus, its progeny and we celebrate all these ideas, whether the colors are inspired by Capiello or the likes of Patrick Caulfield. There is both a clarity and a joy in this design style. And I love the commissions to make these, transforming a favorite walk, a holiday destination, maybe a favorite hobby, or really any treasured memory into a piece of art. Venerating our memories is a way of both reliving them and connecting more deeply to them. I hope you like our work and you like this video. If so, uh, please subscribe for more interesting creative content.